Hey, how are you doing? Kevin Clark here. It's a privilege and honour to be serving you at such a time as this. Do hit the alert bell, subscribe for more information from me. Get it before everybody else does and be one step ahead. You're doing extremely well, by the way. So I'm just going to have a little chat about starting your business. Me, I'm coming from humble beginnings. Now, one thing that really catapulted me out there in the world of uh, coaching, mentoring and business is I went to a network marketing seminar 2008. It was hosted by a gentleman called Mark Anastasi. I was working for this company and I absolutely loved working for this company, right? And I remember um, going to work one day, um, an, an ordinary day, clients to deal with, great banter in the office, you know, and my role was um, to help people become a better version of themselves and help them get back into independent living. And um, I literally created the post, created the role for myself. So that's where my life coaching, mentoring kind of like journey started by doing this particular job. Anyways, I'm at work doing my, my, my thing and then a lady walks into the office, my, my boss at the time, and said, um, Kev, can I just have a quick word with you in my office? I'm thinking, hmm, a lot of things I could have been thinking. I wasn't thinking pay rise or promotion, let's put it that way. <laughs> it's funny how, if we're not careful, we can tend to gravitate to thinking the, the worst rather than the best. Anyways, that's all changed now. And things in every way, every day, things are getting better and better for you and for me also, which is a beautiful thing. So moving on, I went into the boss's office and then the boss literally turned around and said to me, Kevin, I've got some news for you. I don't know how I'm gonna pay you this month. And I'm like, oh my gosh. You can imagine what kind of things are going through my mind, right? Anyways, after dealing with those thoughts, I thought, so what am I gonna do? And at that moment in my life, I remember thinking, I am never going to be in this position again. I am going to be the custodian of my financial journey, my career. I'm going to make sure that I educate myself, think like successful people, do the things successful people do. When I say successful people, I mean people that have good success. There's a difference between good success and bad success. So being successful doesn't automatically mean good success. Okay. So I'll be specific, good success, good success, and make my way prosperous. Um, there's a great reference, by the way, Joshua, in the book, in the, uh, a book called the Holy Bible. If you go to the book of Joshua and go to Joshua chapter one, verse eight, then you'll learn about making your way prosperous and then having good success. If you meditate on the word day and night, day and night and do according to all that's written therein then you'll make your way prosperous and then you will have good success and that's exactly what's been happening to myself and i'm truly thankful for the information and the people and everybody that's been instrumental in regards to my well-being bringing me this far so now i'm like Okay, I'm gonna to start to read different things. So I started reading a book called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I strongly admonish you to read that book because it's extremely powerful. It's about a chap that dedicated his life more or less to studying the richest people in the world at the time. And there was a common thread of practice and thought throughout all these people, which then became a science, right? So um, a science in regards to how to create wealth, be healthy, do healthy things. Um, powerful book. Gosh, I could really go into that book, but now's not the time. So books like that, um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert T. Kiyosaki, The Richest Man in Babylon, another book. There's tons, One Minute Millionaire. Um, I've got a story about that, which I'll share in another post. Anyways, <laughs> um, these, are the kind of, that, these are the kind of books I started to read, right? And then, um, around that time, a lady that I used to date invited me to an internet marketing seminar. Her name, I won't tell you her name, I can't be bothered, but to go through all that, 
great person she's wonderful excellent and i'm truly thankful for her whole being in fact i remember one time um, i was at a house and i went into a kitchen and i remember going in the cupboards thinking we're this is too healthy for me like she was literally on another level in terms of her well-being and um hell she's very alkaline in her thinking and i was just used to eating like tons of meat at the time you know and loads of junk i remember looking in the fridge and going in the cupboards thinking where's the crisps at where's the chocolates at where's all the meat at where's all the gelatine at <laughs> so i went through a radical shift with this particular lady and she was a huge um tony robbins fan anthony robbins fan and at the time he was heavily being broadcasted on cable doing these firewalks so that was a time when i was introduced to him anthony robbins i'm a great fan of anthony robbins also he's a great guy he's added and still adds tremendous value to me so i'm eternally grateful for all of his work that he has done and what he's presently doing and for my ex-girlfriend and she invited me my ex to an internet marketing seminar in earls court london and i thought it's a bit different. I've never been to an internet marketing seminar before. I do want to learn different things, do different things, see different things, things that are going to become assets rather than liabilities, things that are going to make me become an asset rather than a liability because I'm here to solve problems. I'm a solutionist. That's me. That's who I am as an ambassador, obviously representing the kingdom of God. So through Jesus Christ. So, um, I thought, let me go, see what's what, see what's cragger lacking. So I went to London, sat down in this huge sea of crowd, loads of people, many coats of, of different, a coat of different colours, people from north, south, east and west, from all different nationalities, places with all different beliefs, all in one room coming, joining together on one accord, which was to learn something new and be greater people to add tremendous value into the marketplace. I'm sitting in the back now thinking, this feels really different. This feels really strange. This is odd. Anyhow, I had a book to hand, a notebook and a pen so I could take copious notes. And this gentleman walks out at the front wearing a black jacket, a white shirt and blue jeans casually. And he greets the whole crowd and he starts getting the energy up in the crowd and i'm like oh this feels really great i'm liking this already and he started to introduce himself and speak a bit more his name is mark anastasi he um became a multi-millionaire through creating digital information ebooks um, and putting them online and he shared a simple strategy that night which was absolutely free and he was adding loads of value and in return, what he basically wanted was to take an email address and contact details and also sell his material. So it was a great thing that he was doing. He was giving and at the same time he was giving back. So it was a win-win situation. Um, I totally understood that. Um, but then some interesting things happened, <laughs> which I'll explain a bit more. But anyway, I'm sitting in this crowd. Mark has pumping up the energy in the crowd and then he starts to share this simple system which was how to make money online thanks to google ads and clickbank at the time so mark is sharing these strategies there's a big screen on the wall and he's got a projector and he's going through all of these slides and i'm there taking copious notes with my notepad because i not, didn't want to miss a thing at the time and I'm like this is so brilliant this is great I can't wait to get home to put this information to practice and I sat down throughout the whole duration of that seminar until it was time to go home now the interesting things that started to happen which I touched on earlier this is what them interesting things are right so I'm on my way home thinking about how wonderful this event was and then I started to get these thoughts, sabotaging thoughts. And the thoughts were like this. Hmm, is this going to really work for you, Mr. Clark? Come on, Kevin. Do you really think that money just grows on trees like that? Come on, Kevin. He just wanted to take your information. This information doesn't work, really. What makes you think it's going to work for you? 
come on, what a waste of time, what a waste of energy, what a waste of journey. You really think it's gonna work? And I'm like being bombarded with these thoughts. But then I thought to myself, you know, for Mark Anastasi, right, to invest all of his good time. Yeah, I do like to slurp, what? <laughs> to waste his good time, his precious time, to um, put his name out there as a person that delivers rubbish information, you know. Um, to have a reputation of being a terrible person, just to go out there and to do that. I mean, what, what does that really profit? It can easily be done for, if everybody was to put that information to practice and their feedback was atrocious, that would give him a bad name, right? That would give Mark Anastasi a bad name. So I was having these thoughts too. I thought, well, actually, you know what? I am going to give this a go because he's out there investing his energy and time sharing a certain stuff. So it's not going to hurt for me to put this information to practice, right? Do you hear what I'm saying, yeah? Cool. So I get back to him. The morning after, I'm buzzing, excited. I've got my computer in front of me. I've got a certificate which I, I took out of this book called One Minute Millionaire, which I signed to say that I am a millionaire. And I had that certificate like on top of my computer. I remember taking out my notes and then started putting this information to practice. So I signed up a, an account with ClickBank, which was absolutely free. ClickBank's a, a marketplace which allows you to create digital products and host them on ClickBank. And there's another part to ClickBank that hosts affiliates. So it's basically two parts together in one, on one platform, adding value to each other. So you can create a product, put it on ClickBank, and an army of affiliates inside ClickBank will find your product that you created, promote it. Once each product sold, the affiliate be, will be rewarded for their efforts or depending on what agreement was made on the commissions, whether it's 30%, 50%, 70%, or 100% at some times. So you can literally create products, as many products as you like, digital products, courses, all sorts, put them inside ClickBank and double fold, you can sign up as an affiliate, which is 100% free, mind you, and promote in their huge catalog of products and services or the products inside ClickBank and be paid handsome commission. So that's one strategy, one way of how you can get started creating a business online with literally no money at all. And I, this wasn't my plan, but I will leave some information in the description box which will help you get started as an affiliate inside ClickBank using free tools, right? So I will do that for you. It's just been in my spirit to just bring it out like that. So that's done. I will honor that. So do look in the description box. You'll find the details. Um, yeah, I'm just compelled to do that. So I remember uh, creating a, an account in ClickBank, following the instructions, then going to Google Ads, then looking at how the Google Ads work, and then I started to do my thing. And I left it at that. I went through a time of procrastination, mind you, when um, it's like I was going through these periods of getting so excited and I couldn't wait because I, in my mind, I had this earnest expectation of everything happening really quick, you know. Um, so I'd reach to the kitchen for food. <laughs> Have you ever done that? Have you ever gone to the? I've ever gone through that procrastination where, you know, you, you run in to get this done, you run to get that done, you go to have food, you, you're doing all these things um, rather than face the thing that you just need to execute and do. Come on, you know, can't just be me, surely, right? You must have procrastinated at some point. Anyways, I did, and um, I went through a stage of that. Right, um, went back to my computer at times, so there were times where I'd leave it for like a couple of hours, check my ClickBank account to see if there's any transactions made after setting up the system. And you know, there were, I remember looking to see if there's any commissions in there and I'd be like, no sales yet. Is this really gonna work? Oh, this, 
this doesn't really seem right. So then I'd check it the day after to see if any sales had been made. And I'd be like, hmm, maybe this stuff ain't gonna work for me. Maybe I have to be cut from a different type of cloth. Maybe there's some information that I'm not putting together that I missed and didn't write down and include in this little training thing. Is there something I'm missing? Is there something that I'm doing wrong? What is it? Is it me? What is it? And then I remember checking again a different time. I think I went out and did a few things. I went back to my computer. I can't remember if it was a day after or two days, I can't remember, but anyways. I remember going back to my computer, checking my ClickBank account, and you will never guess what happened. I could see transactions for $47, after $47, after $47, after $47, after $47, after $47, after $47, for a product that I was promoting by a vendor inside ClickBank called Six Day Fetch Dog Books. Dogs are great. I love them to bits. I don't own a dog. A dog. However, based upon the training, I managed to learn how to find people that do love dogs. People that congregate in the same place Birds of a feather flock together, something you must always remember, okay? People that congregated in the same place, passionate about dogs, wanting to learn more about dogs, was interested in things regarding to dogs. I basically went to ClickBank, found a digital product, I placed it inside of this platform of dog lovers, and based upon like the law of averages, I was getting clicks, which was converting to sales. And this radically changed my life in regards to what's possible, how I'm gonna start doing things moving on, what value I'm gonna add in the marketplace, how I'm gonna operate. So I remember putting my hands on my head like, oh my gosh, this works. <laughs> I'll never forget that day. And I remember looking at um, the um, One Minute Millionaire certificate on the top of my computer as well. So that was a pivotal point on my journey of becoming a influencer, internet marketer, and also a coach, okay? So ever since then, I've moved on. Um, Mark Anastasi, the author of the bestseller, a New York Times bestseller, um, he contacted me and asked me if I would like to, he, first of all, he asked me if I'd had any success with the training. So look at this. I went to the internet marketing seminar. I left my email address. I left my contact details, my name. Attended the seminar. Learned a strategy, learned a formula, went home, put it to practice, which is key. I executed on the information. Mark had a plan, which was to contact people who were so sure of what value was adding that he knew that based upon all of the information that he had, he will find somebody that would have had some form of success. Fortunately, I was one of those people. I checked my email address. There was a message from Mark Anastasi saying, hi, it's Mark Anastasi. I'm going to write a book. Um, I would like to know if you've had any success as I'm looking for testimonials. And it just so happened that I did have success with the free information that he shared. So I, responded back by writing an email to Mark Anastasia saying, yes, I've been making money thanks to what you shared at the cinema, at the, at the seminar in Ills Court, London. And um, then Mark got back to me and said, great, I'm gonna share your testimonial on page 77. So if you do have the book called The Laptop Millionaire, which a ton of people do have, a New York Times bestseller, if you've not read the book, it's a great book, You'll find my testimonial on page 77 in regards to how me making thousands of dollars thanks to ClickBank and also AdWords and Mark Anastasi's training. So get the book, great book. And um, I've gone on to also write a few books as well. In factico, 
I'm as I'm speaking to you, I'm inside of a hotel. I was doing some work up in London and whatnot, traveling around and promoting a book which I've released and it's called 101 Universal Sales Truths They Don't Want You To Know and if you just bear with me one moment I'm gonna grab my book. Powerful book, so here's the book 101 Universal Sales Truths They Don't Want You To Know and I encourage you strongly to get your hands on this book because this book basically it's been crafted in a way where you will have no excuses in regards to how to say what you need to say words powerful words that literally get you all different things in the world of sales breakthroughs it's all inside this book there's a system inside here that will reprogram your subconscious mind and you'll literally be a absolute juggernaut when it comes to getting sales this book here is powerful chain breaking book okay there's a ton of things inside this book it deals with your conscious and subconscious mind the systems there's formulas the strategies inside this book so you need to get your hands on it uh, but i'll give you a touchdown how you sell is more important than what you sell okay how do you respond to no we're not interested in your product or service what's the smartest way to handle sales objections salespeople solve these problems by depending on specific words and concepts that are convincing and persuasive to customers 101 universal sales truths they don't want you to know is a powerhouse of sales tools at your disposable at your disposal designed for every kind of sales you will discover the right phrase to use when meeting customers creating value and much more the practical reference provides winning keys for each stage of the sales process revealing the right words you need to to prosper and have good success to prosper and have good success remember what i was saying about success you've got bad success and you've got good success so points bypass gatekeepers and sell to the decision makers develop trust and build customer relations short and long term handle objections delaying tactics and other obstacles position you your product or service in the best way okay 101 universal sales truths they don't want you to know contains the groundbreaking evergreen solution that makes it easier than ever for you to win in today's rapidly changing world of sales Kevin D. Clark, CEO of KDC Solutions, a company that provides sales solutions to businesses, an author, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. For more than 29 years, people have enjoyed the warmth, humor, and transformational power of Clark's business and personal development events, products, and services. Clark is also a transition coach, public speaker, and business stroke sales strategist. He's called upon to consult and coach. In addition, Clark is the founder and CEO of clickzoo.co.uk, a platform dedicated to inspiring success and inner tools trademark, which designs and creates self-help products to help us overcome negative mindsets, shatter limiting beliefs, and grow into the best version of ourselves. So there you go, great book. ISBN number right there so best place to get this book is on Amazon it's in all formats you can download it as a digital download you can get a hard copy and you can also get a paperback whichever suits you okay it's also available on Kindle so no excuses empower yourself you are what you eat eat this become a sales juggernaut I'm excited for you already, come on now. So I've gone on to write books, etc. I coach, I teach, I mentor, I train. Um, I'll leave links inside the description box below. So there is no excuse whatsoever. What you have in your hand is enough. You are more than enough. You are more than a conqueror. So if there's been anything holding you back, if there's thoughts, things, stuff that you've looked at as a wall if you thought to yourself you know what I cannot aspire to do great things or greater things guess what that chain has been broken right now that ceiling does no longer exist you are on the other side now the door is open so what are you going to do 
I urge you to take action. Keep moving forward. Life is lived looking forward, but only understood looking back. So take action, do it now. Life is for living. That's it from me, Kevin Clark, believing in you. And remember, stay focused. God bless. Bye now.